How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today I'm showing you how to build a map in Gmod. Let's get into this. Before this video starts, I hate to ask, but can you please subscribe to the channel? Alright, let's get into this. So, you want to start off by going to Steam. Properties. One shot, you should be able to have a little menu like this. You should see this. Local files. Browse local files. And then bin. And look for one called Hammer. It should have like a logo that stands out from the rest. This one. Now, before I open this, you can also have it in here. See how I've got it right here. The way you do that is, add a game, add an Steam game, browse, and then it should be there. If it's not there from you, just where I rhymed. Look for it. I don't know, just have a look around Steam files. And see if you find it. If it's not there. But it should be there. <laughs> now, load up Hammer. I'm going to do it the way I showed a second ago. So, properties again if you missed it. Browse local files. Bin. Hammer. Start that up. Alright. When you get into Hammer, you should see a menu like this. What you need to do is file new file and this should come up and then what you need to do is see the little selection tool here this is the block tool zoom out of here a bit I'm gonna make mine actually wait how big am I mine? I'm gonna make it not too big maybe like here to here quite big but yeah 2048 by 2048 alright once you've done that go to the right there should be a browse option next to the big black square like that. Search in the filter. Dev. And then go down to and find this one. And then enter. Alright, and then it should look like this. Click Z. And it should look like this. Now if it's just like if it looks a bit like like this, kind of, what you need to do is go to view and try clicking on texture polygons. Alright. Next what you need to do is now you could you could actually wait. So what you need to do next is click on the entity tool, the one on the left. And get get nice and close. And then just pop put that down there. If you click Z by the way, to, if you click Z you can go around the area. Z to go off it again. Z on it, alright? So you should be able to put your guy down. Here he is. That's your little spawner. Now you could load up the world and, and you can walk you can't walk around. You can fly around probably. Now you, to do that we need air, like we need that little like air box. So go back on the block tool, this one here. And see the little area here? We're gonna go from this corner to overlay it again. There you go. Yeah, so once you put your little square over it, leave it highlighted, because it might be hard to find it again, and then just go up with it on this one until you get a nice position. I'm going to go to here, high enough. That should be your little air box. Now we click. Now once you've done this, this isn't it, go to browse again and just type in 2D and scroll down to the bottom. And there should be one called 2D Sandbox, a skybox. And highlight that, like click, double click on it, sorry. And then enter. And this should happen. So once you're in, if you're inside it though, you can't actually see the walls from the inside. So what you need to do to fix that is click Z again and go to tools, make hollow, and type in the numbers minus 32. And then OK. And it should like make it thicker, pretty much a tiny bit on the walls if we look. So if we go in again. There we go. Before the video ends, I just want to teach you one more thing. Go on to if, if you want weapons on the map, let's say you wanted weapons. Go on to the entity spawner again. Let's put another guy. But this time go on to selection tool, the, the top one here. 
and then double click on them and then type in in this little class box here weapon underscore and then whatever you want so I'm gonna go with shotgun apply and then it's in the full orbit so let's bring it out a bit so let's go to this little bit here let's bring it up there we go there's your little shotgun there's your little guy and it's pretty much done this is real anyway I'll show you some other stuff if I do another video if this video does alright if you want another video request it because you want to, want to learn more stuff so, yeah. Right, the last bit is, look at F9. And you want to save your map as something. I'm going to save it as map for YouTube. By the way, I've already recorded this whole video. I swear, it's already one the Pretty much what it is, is I recorded the whole thing, but then I recorded it in the wrong OBS format, so I had to do it all again because it didn't work. Alright, map for YouTube. I'm gonna need the exact same because my other one because um I can't really get rid of that other one anyway. Map for YouTube VMF. There we go. Save. Yes. And it should come up with this. Click OK. You can tick this box here if you don't want to run. I'm gonna click not tick it actually. I will tick it. Okay. You should do that. Let that load. Once it's done, it's just, it just didn't take that long. I should have like a big map. Go to Steam again, and then load up Gary's mod. I'll see you there. All right. So once you've loaded up Gary's mod, what you need to do next is go to the Start New Game option. Over, and your map should be there somewhere. Map for YouTube. Load that. Load it up. Let it load a second. Alright, now we're in. You better walk around, fly around if you want. Now, this is your little area you made, so you can't fly around here because this isn't the box you made, the sky box. So you shouldn't, shouldn't be able to fly around in the area. How high can we go? Let's test. So we're gonna go there. So set the max height around here. Alright, I'm gonna tell it to you. You can get vehicles in. Uh. in this video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel all right goodbye everyone have a nice day